Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the power of AP Twitch in the top lane. And basically Twitch is over tune, right? It keeps buffing it. And on top of that, Twitch can take full advantage of Dark Sill, which every time you get a killer assist, you get more AP. And then you can upgrade your Dark Sill into Medge, which is an even better version, giving more AP and movement speed. For Twitch in the top lane, you're typically not gonna get solo kills unless it's a great matchup. For example, a mobile melee top laner such as Shen, in Mordekaiser, Twitch top has a 65% win rate against, even against Jax, which I find kind of weird, but it kind of makes sense on AP Twitch since a lot of his damage comes from his E, and he can apply that with just his W and a few autos before Jax starts blocking autos with his E. We're up against Trendimer though, we'll see how it goes. We have Flash Ghost because Ghost is overtuned, very, very overtuned, relatively low cooldown for what it does. It also gives you a lot of roam potential with 10 seconds of bonus and movement speed, plus extensions on kills and assists. Typically level one, you want to queue in the lane to get the surprise factor. You get a lot of extra attack speed and they just don't see it coming. You want to get off all three autos. So there it worked perfectly because he was trying to cheese my minions. I already knew he was going to step back there because it's, it's just obvious. So we win that trade, even though he's Trindamir and has the highest base stats in the game out of really any champion. Yeah, you're in trouble, buddy. We got his ghost. He got mine. We win the trade, though, because we have D-Ring plus two potions and he has D-Shield plus one potion. With that being said, D-Shield is brain dead overpowered and so is second wind. With you see the type of trades he's taking, we're putting twice as many autos on him as he's putting on us. And he's still kind of coming out positive. That's why they need to nerf Second Wind. Second Wind allows champions like Akali to win the Azir matchup, a champion that way outranges her and has lots of AoE. Because uh, you can just run D Shield Second Wind if you're ever in a matchup that outranges you, and it's very challenging to kill you at that point. So look at his health. He's already above half health when he was almost dead just a moment ago. We should have a lot more all-in potential now. We'll put an E on him. Back out of the minion range. Get more stacks with our W. It's low-key just going to heal him. <laughs> Chinimir has the highest base health regeneration in the game. Combine that with D-Shield second win, like I said. And that's why you're seeing what you're seeing. Literally, look at his HP, bro. <laughs> He's literally just healing whenever I hit him. It's kind of hilarious. I need to push this. Not sure where their jungler Okay, their jungler's dead. I'm free to push. I have minion advantage here as well. Go ahead and get a W down on the wave. It's also slow onto him. He doesn't want to jump me because he's going to miss a lot of minions by default since they're dying underneath his turret. I missed my E on him. My passive had faded right when I went for it. We can't fight him. Look how healthy he is. <laughs> Trinimir is such a funny champion. And now we just pretty much have to leave. Presence of mind keeps our mana relatively high, but I guarantee you right now, Second Wind's given him like three or 400 health already. Presence of mind's given us 100, 110. It works well with Twitch passive because it keeps ticking and it keeps refreshing Presence of mind mana regen. First back, you're typically looking for boots in a Dark Seal. If you can't afford it, then it's sad times because you need it to get high value out of your roams. It looks like Trindamir stayed in lane, because why not? He's full HP, because, you know, one potion start, very good. D-shield, very balanced. Trindamir base health regen, very balanced. It is what it is. The way we're going to beat this matchup is with good roams, good positioning, and just being a better team fight champion. Trindamir kind of needs overtuned base stats, otherwise he's not viable, just because of how short range he is. He only has one mobility tool, and it's a not even a very short cooldown in the early game it gets pretty short the longer the game goes though we have item advantage on him but it doesn't necessarily mean we can fight him it is it is absolutely fascinating just how little damage he takes from everything <laughs> we need some dark seal stacks Pop the E, and then we get the wave pushed, and now we can roam. W and E is your best friend on AP Twitch. You will run out of mana quick. That's why you need D-Ring for mana back when you kill stuff. And you need Presence of Mind for when you're poking the enemy champs. 
Should be a kill. Oh, why is he... Why is he doing that? I'll attack W. I couldn't block his dash there. Popped him with the E. If I had Ignite, maybe he dies. Who knows, though? Got a reset. That was weird. He backed all the way up. <laughs> he knew we were coming. Shouldn't probably ping this out. First item rush. It's always, always Nash. You need the attack speed badly. The wave's coming to us, so we're not going to miss anything. He might try to all in us. He has full Fury and level 6. He could possibly kill us underneath turret. I'll have to use my sums if he goes for it. Let's go ahead and Q. 10 seconds of extra movement speed. It's past 5 minute mark, so he does full damage. Top and mid turret take basically a 4th damage pre-5 minute mark. So he gets a plate here. If we hit him, his minions are going to start focusing us, especially his ranged minions. So we need to take that into account whenever we are trying to fight him there. Because these minions actually do an insane amount of damage. <laughs> Three range creeps is a D blade, 80 carry auto, and two range creeps is a Soraka auto. I'm gonna hard push it here. I assume he back, but who knows? It's Trindomir. He might just be waiting for me to use my W on the wave, so then he can look for an all in. The minions split in a really bad way for us to where we couldn't really E the whole thing. The melees and range giga separated there. So now Trin's going back into shove mode. We'll go ahead pop ghost. We need to get there fast. We're wasting a lot of time. Absolutely need kills if you're going to be playing Twitch. Auto attack W. He blocks him, auto attack E. And down he goes. Auction burned his ignite for that as well, so that's a really good roam. We got their super fast 10% movement speed on Q, 32% on Ghost. So we got there faster than if we had Mobis and Water Walking, really. Plus, we crashed the wave. You can't freeze it from there. I honestly wish you would try. It would let us roam more. <laughs> when people try to freeze on you, it's actually kind of good. I can't really fight a volley bear there. Your Q is a pretty good defensive tool when the people are pushing you like this. They can't really chase you. 10 seconds of movement speed is a lot. I guess Tr Trindomir's bush camping there. Yeah, he literally waited in a bush. He's waiting. What a goofball. We can go tier two boots rush. Typically it's berserks or lucids. I'm thinking against their team, we're going to want uh, Lucids for sure. All right, we got him with our E. Very little damage. Still has D shield. He even pushed into refill. That's such a such an annoying build, man. I really wish they had removed second one from the game or make it balanced. Compare second one and Scorch. Scorch does burn damage over time when you hit enemy champs with an ability. And second one heals you when uh enemy champs are hitting you the problem is the second wind's like five times stronger than scorch look how fast we are yeah sorry buddy you can't chase twitch like that we didn't turn around to auto because when you turn around to fight you'll lose your bonus movement speed that would be really bad you're gonna die we gotta use all 10 seconds of the movement speed there and just keep running Oh, okay, they're fighting still. What's happening? All right, cool. That actually turned out really well. Turned out pretty dang good. They forced super hard for that. They're trying to punish it, but it's, <laughs> it's actually kind of hard to punish. Oh, wow. Later, my dude. They really want to kill us, man. I vow right here now. In front of all you goofballs, I'm not going to die this game just to punish these bungholes for trying to kill us so much. I'm going to play overly safe. I could honestly just go Swifties instead. Swifties are good if you want to roam on top of that. Trin slow, Ash slow, potential Sona slow, 
potential Volley Bear slow. I don't think Auction has a slow or, or anything. I don't think Auction's a good champion. Sure, he has resets on his uh, meat spin move. It's usually not enough though. Man, I'm losing so much turret. Losing an outrageous amount of turret here. They all keep coming top. We have Ghost here. Q's about to be up. We'll push this for free. Get some autos on the melees. And then we can drop W on the on the melees and the ranged. Boom. Down it goes. Still have Q. Let's go ahead and get Ward down just to be safe. Looks like they're not coming for me anymore. They're trying to get the Silas. I should be able to get at least one plate off this. Nice. Gold on Twitch goes a long way. Take a bit of damage from this. That's fine. Boom. Got it. Nice, nice, nice. I know Volibear spawn. He could be like right here, right here. So he's either coming for me or he's going for drag. Drag or mean are the only good things up right now. Trinmere's missing. I got to move. He's been missing for a little bit. He's probably coming top. Like I said, I don't plan on dying. I don't like to reward people for being goofballs and cheesing me. If you reward that, they'll keep doing it. You reinforce that behavior. Got two Dark Seal stacks, not very much. Not very much at all. Trinmere's back top, he's tier two boots. Like 1600 gold spent, I'm tier two boots and about the same amount of gold spent, honestly. We're the same CS, but more one more assist. I'll head back with the movement speed bonus. Now, if our if he knows our Q's on cooldown, that leaves us a little bit vulnerable, but I do still have the ghost. It spins on a cooldown. I'm free to move from this position now. As long as he's not in this bush. Are they all dead? Where's Akshan? Okay, he stayed. I gotta stay now. If they don't know that your Q's on a cooldown, they'll just assume you have it. If I go up to auto him, he's gonna spin on me and I'll lose the trade. Even if I auto him twice as much as he autos me, since Shinomir has the world's highest health regeneration, plus second win, plus D shield. It's... It's like he has a Warmogs starting level one. <laughs> oh man. This, I guess he's trying to freeze here. I suppose he is. All right, later my dude, you wanna freeze? I will accommodate that. Kind of want to give up top turret here. This looks like a potential big fight for us. Akshan's probably invisible. Where in the world did these guys go? Wow, they left a control word here of all places. All right, I'll ghost for this. I don't care. I want kills. Might as well use ghost. Get a W down, they're both slowed into R. Q for the movement speed bonus off the extensions into the E. That's a double baby, we also got Ash Flash out of it. And you might say, well, Trinomir's getting the CS top, is it worth it? Uh, Dark Seal kind of makes it worth it. Because they're going to lose this turret even if he takes that one, plus I get Dark Seal stacks. As long as I don't die, it's worth. Very Feast and Famine-y. There's going to be those general areas. I'll go grab cannon wave real quick. Might as well. I'm the only person in the game who hasn't died yet. That's the type of mentality you have to have when you're playing a Dark Seal mesh type of champ, Twitch Evelyn. He could be in that brush. We're gonna hug wall here just in case. We don't wanna walk brush heavy there. Cause if he is and he has full fury plus, I don't know, red buff or something, we're gonna die. When you have Dark Seal, you have to stare at the minimap constantly. It's like having something expensive in your pocket. 
Gotta be careful. Come on, boy. <laughs> Got key resets. Very nice. Two of them top. There's only one person over here. Mm, I can't really go top on my own. Volibear can cancel out the turret. Plus two of them can dive me. It's kind of weird that Silas is even bothering to walk over here. Boom. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I actually died. That was so weird. I could have definitely flashed sooner. I saw she wasn't full item though. Uh, she ended up killing me and getting 450 gold total. That was weird. It's like her last auto attack never stopped doing damage there. <laughs> it just kept going. Boy, oh boy. I broke my promise, guys. I have a death. Feels bad. Crown would be decent. It's usually good if they have a big burst mage, but they don't. I'll still go for it. It's worth it. It's a pretty inexpensive item, gives a lot of good stats, lots of mana. Uh, all safeguarded in three seconds. Yeah, it also gives us extra AP. Very nice on its passive. Auto attack W. Auto attack E. Whoa, what is that damage, boy? Did my turret seriously stop autoing him there just because he was moving fast? He's like, okay, I'll wait. Okay, he's gone. Holy moly. That auction damage was crazy, dude. I guess a lot of it was his minions. Three, 375 from his minions there. He only did 315 to my health. I have nearly 1800 health. Wild. I'm losing all my dark still stacks now. I'm losing just about all of it. Still more KP than the trend, at least. It's one metric we have going for ourselves. We have 8 KP. He has 1 KP. We're still pretty close to tied CS. All things considered. The CS isn't particularly high, neither is mine. Oh, bot side. The easiest people for me to kill are Ash Sona. Auction's fast and does crazy damage somehow. Press the attack Kraken. I'm gonna queue Ghost for this. Looks like Wukong's probably gonna kill without me though. Hey, Sona. Boom. I wanted to try to bait out her flash. A lot of people think they can get outside of your flash range. But they can't. I barely finished him with R before we died. R extra AD on our autos and extra range, of course. I thought Lux was going to shield me. She didn't use it, though. Maybe she'd already... Maybe it was somehow already on a cooldown. I don't know. Give her the benefit of the doubt there. Trinmere's getting big. It's getting big on CS. Taking turrets. I think Silas is an okay counter to Trin because he can still Lazar. To where they're both tanking in team fights, but Silas has more AoE damage. I think that's how that works. Silas is typically a good counter to any big R champ like Malphite. Trin. Oh, boom. I did not get the kill, so therefore I only got one Dark Soul stack instead of two. That's all right. As long as I get something for, for doing something, then I'm appeased. Oh, no, bro. I wanted red buff. I can't let this happen, though. Nobody accosts my Lux without my permission. Ash Flash for that. Not worth Whoa, did Varus really just flash there? This is a dangerous situation for me. The auction has high damage. That doesn't reveal him? Dude, he literally just took damage, right? Or maybe he had Sona shield. There's a weird interaction in the league. I don't like it. That if someone has a shield and you're hitting them, if the shield's what's soaking the damage, it doesn't count as you doing damage to them. It's really annoying. So if someone has a shield and you try to hit them to stop their recall, it doesn't count. It doesn't make... It's so weird. It's very strange. 
for him when he's in combat he's not supposed to be able to be invisible but since he was technically shielded even though i'd poison on him and hit him with an e it didn't swipe his invisibility very clunky get our w in pop him with the r auto attack e reset i'm on q resets now uh trends top side sona sona bona sona babona oh they had enough they quit <laughs> all right we'll go ahead and do a part two hopefully we can get more kills than we got this game yo what's going on guys welcome back to part two whenever you're playing twitch in the top lane invades are good as long as you have a tank support like leona brahm and that's the perfect time to take dark sill because you have a good chance of getting a whole lot of stacks brahm's probably one of the best level one invade supports because there's five stuns and he has a solid slow as well. I'm not really seeing anything. We need to keep letting him lead. Go ahead and pick up my Q so I can keep up and also get that juicy attack speed bonus. Go ahead and get a ward down right there. Hey, Vex, or who is this, Vayne? Free Dark Seal stack, I'll take it. Not bad. Kinda need to reset though here. We don't wanna be late to lane. Having a Dark Seal stack is nice, but only one, eh. Just one of those things. Up against a Camille, we definitely don't want to shove against her, or at least not until we're level three. If we start to slow push, she could solo us, and at the very least, she could easily set up a gank for Vi. We'll lose both our sums and possibly a lot of HP as well. Vi is most likely going to start bot side. Junglers in general start bot side for best best leash possible. They typically gank top around three minute ten to three minute forty five. That's the window you got to watch out for. They can gank sooner, but if they are doing a full clear close to it, that's when you'll see them. Wonder where the Camille's at. Alright, there she is. I can get triple hella blade off of her. I will be tanking her back line though. Yeah, she's playing really far back. She goes in for the slow slash hill. I didn't let her have it on me. It's a very long cooldown starting that ability level one. We break aggro through brush. She should miss a minion here. Yeah, she missed two minions. It's very good for us. Very, very good. We get level two first. She lands her little thing. I could kind of trade this all in now. It was actually a really good trade for us. I'm surprised how well that was. I guess because I didn't try to fight her while her shield's up. We didn't waste auto sinking it into her passive shield, which falls off after a few seconds. It's probably a big part of it. We get the double E. Whenever Twitch has five stacks on you, you don't want to let him get more, like in terms of refreshing the five stack, because that's how we got off multiple E's on her. And she took crazy damage from that. Go ahead and chug our last refill. Let it eat the turret shot. Very nice. Make her eat the W for that. She steps back up, I'll hit her with an E. There it is. Ooh. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage for that. Holy moly. Got her. She's in the brush still. She's trying to cheese a kill on me. She's taking so much damage though. She has D shield. I don't know if she took second win. She may have thought it was Diana top. I banned Kane. Whenever you play Twitch top, you typically want to ban an AD carry like Callista. Or ban a jungler. You want don't want them to think you're playing Twitch mid or Twitch top. You want them to think you're a Twitch jungle or Twitch AD carry. Oh, she's dead. Nice. I had the ghost. She took uh, ignite TP for the cheese. Now I have ghost. So we win that. She's gonna TP back to lane most likely. Yep. Big surprise. Who would have thought our wave was going to push anyways because we had slightly more minions and it's reinforcing first so i wanted to shove force out her tp and whatnot i can start roaming now got some dark seal stacks gotta stay alive she's probably gonna want to freeze i'm kind of okay with just letting her freeze here honestly i can run around the map with uh, ionian boots or swifties potentially i'm feeling the ionian option here Head over mid, get our Dark Seal stacked up. Yeah, she's trying to free. She needs to thin this out though. You only want four 
range creeps. You only want the enemies to have four more range creeps than you. Cannon counts is about three, and I have five here, so she needed to thin this out sooner. Now this is a tsunami that she can no longer hold, and it's going to crash and reset. So that's just uh, something to think about. I shouldn't have hit that. Now they know I'm here if they're paying attention to that. That was my bad. It's an accident. Bad click. Auto attack W, auto attack. Decent damage, not quite enough though. Go ahead and leave my ward right here. Need my teammates to push. They're taking forever. I think Lulu flashed and maybe, oh, she didn't reset. That was a huge mistake. Auto attack W, I separated her in vain with my W. Auto attack into E. Got the vein with one more auto. Jinx gets the auto speeds up. Their jungler's top side. I kind of have to reset here. I'll go ahead and help these guys with the wave real quick. Look at that wave clear, man. That's nasty. This early in the game, no real items. This is where Twitch shines. Clown Fiesta, ganking, roaming, being level three and up with Dark Sill and Boots. Go for double dagger over amp tome. Definitely worth. And I already have my control word on the map. Ideally, I would keep playing around this. They bait themselves and we keep killing them on it. However, my bot lane needs to back low health, low mana, and they haven't spent their gold yet. So if they stayed, we might actually lose that 2v2, or especially if the jungler showed up, we definitely lose it 3v3 at that point. Camille's trying to dump. We'll use Q to get back to wave sooner. 10% additional movement speed. She does have R. She doesn't have boots. So even if she cuts me here, I think I live. I'll hit a refill just in case. I should get really this whole wave. Put an auto on each of them. Ugh, I had to use my E early because the cannon minion was trying to die on me. Go ahead and dump this wave with a W. Get them all stacked up. Got one auto on her for the presence of mind. Oh, she has red buff for some reason. I'll attack E. I don't want to chase that. I'm already happy with how that played out. I'm a little nervous on where Vi is. I can't fight her. The thing is, she has red buff. She's healing so fast right now. She's probably getting back at 10 health per second or something. I'm only getting one back. I can't stay for that. If she didn't have red buff... And if a few other things were different, for example, if I had sums up at the time, we definitely would have killed her or fried a little bit more mana. Or like I said, if just if she didn't have red buff, we definitely would have had her there. But then again, if she didn't have red buff, she probably wouldn't have done that limit test. Vex is dead here. Oriana, she's back. She's going to give it away by walking at her. Vex knows she can't kill her. So yeah, she just needs to back. Throughout, I let him with W that time, and uh, my last auto there kind of got canceled. That sucks. I should have had that kill if I didn't get stutter step there by the minion creep block. I think we have it. Unfortunate. Go ahead and reset, get our refills back. I'll head bot side. I'm not going back top. It's too risky. We, we have... The investment paying off from Dark Sill. The worst thing we could do is go back, get camped by Vi. Vi R, Camille R, we can't outplay that. Point, hard point and click CC. And then we lose all of our Dark Sill stacks. We just need to keep this alive, even if we lose every wave top now. It's fine. Got the Dark Sill running. Bot lane gold spent advantage, it seems. Double longsword plus the tier 2 boots. So she has full tier 2 boots advantage over no boots, no boots. I'll attack W. She's setting herself up to die here. All I need is one more auto. Yeah, she's dead now because I get my second E for free. So I'm already full stacked. That Braum, the wow. The Braum Jinx played that pretty well. Jinx follow up with the R. I don't need any of these minions. Just want it pushed. Could take drag off that. Have my refills. Relentless Hunter is definitely best for this type of Twitch playstyle. Treasure Hunter is okay, but after you have all your Treasure Hunter stacks, it doesn't help you anymore. Relentless Hunter is constantly helping us in our roams, basing, resetting, all that type of stuff. I need to go mid. 
I can kill Vex for sure. 100%. I'll attack W. I don't have enough mana for E. Yeah, she goes over the wall. Whoa! That Jinx rocket was nutty. I did not think that was going to land. I don't have the mana, bro. I'm out. It's reset time. Actually, I don't have enough gold. I need a little bit more gold. <laughs> I actually kind of need that scuttle. Go ahead and queue over mid and grab some minions. I want the 10 stat. The... I want to be able to afford Madge since I'm close to finishing Dark Soul anyways. Alright. Oh, I still can't afford it. Oh, man. I guess I could take a little wolves. Go ahead and keep for the attack speed here. Keep passive up on both of them. Holy crap, this takes forever without jungle item. Ten years later, I already have the gold now. <laughs> Just passively from osmosis, absorbing it from the game. Look at that generation right there. Forget what season it was. It was like season 8, 9, or 10. It was in one of the newer seasons where they created more passive gold ge generation in the game and I, th I think that hurt early game champs a lot by adding more passive gold generation th th that's when we stopped seeing things like LeBlanc I think stop seeing LeBlanc stop seeing a lot of Draven lots of stuff like that honestly get our W down only reason I came back here, there's nothing else on the map, so I might as well grab this fat wave. Oh my gosh, I missed that. Rip. Just ward the brush, hover, cursor behind us. All right, we're good to go. Camille's full of Trinity. We can't fight her anymore. <laughs> it wouldn't work. Our mobility won't help us when she uses her two longest dashes in the game against us. Oh, yuck. I'm dead. This Braum has R or something. Good thing I'm on Ghost. Holy crap, I actually live. That was scary, bro. <laughs> I barely lived there. They really wanted me. Good thing Vi's not full item. Time to die. Oh my goodness, Vayne just got a kill. Might be able to cut her off. My Relentless Hunter moving nearly 450. Should be able to triple Hella Blade into E as long as I'm not on wall. It almost gave her that wall. That's nasty. That almost counted that stun. I was so far away off that angle too. Don't know where Vex is going to throw R from if she even had it there. It looks like she bounced back to mid after I got that kill. I'm on 10 stack Mesh Plus, which is where you want to be for the 10% extra movement speed. This is doable. That was scary. I wanted to pop her away. She might have had the damage output to kill me there, otherwise. I really do need a <laughs> Nash though. Twitch without Nash. Boy oh boy. They're starting to stack up and hide underneath turrets. Hoping we throw against them. Yeah, sit on that, Vex. I'm dead. Dang, dude. The double dash ignite. I do get the assist, but we, we do need Nash badly here. I'll say in hindsight, for you guys, just finish Nash before you go for Mej. Even if you are 10 stack Dark Soul, it's not worth it. Because you end up in a weird spot where even though I'm ahead... Since we don't have any real items and our mesh isn't full stack, we don't have enough damage output, essentially. I can get blue word. Let's go. I need two kills now or a kill assist to get back to the sweet spot. And they no full item. We should have drag here. Let's 
Jinx comes up. Their only full items is their top, top in uh, jungle. Really knowing how much they're hiding on this turret, it's making it impossible to get them. Finally. That's going to take away so much map pressure. Now they're going to have to hide on that turret. Free dragon? I'll take it. They're hovering. They're not going to get in in time, though. Vi so scary for us. Her R is so, so good against what we were trying to do. Wasn't able to get down a good W. Vex walks away. Could just push mid, honestly. We don't have to chase that. Lulu's the only one there. They might loop back around. <laughs> this game's stalling out so hard. They're refusing to die now for the most part. So what's going on here? They're trying to slow down the game. Braum shielding for some reason. Why are we not taking the turret though? It's very strange. Why what is what is this? Why are we even over here? I'm, I want to gank where my teammates are, but they're in the tri brush when they're so in mid and they're so on top. Very strange. Got Amp Tome, got our refills back, and we also needed the mana. I think we can still solo Vex in vain. We can't deal with Vi or Camille though. Too much CC, too much gap closing. We have to let Braum tank and Diana tank in the fights. If they go on us first, we're going to lose the fights every time. Once the Vi dash and Camille dash are on cooldown though, I can line them up with R, AoE them, AoE them with W, and then of course the passive in E. Bro, seriously. I can't move. The counter plays too high there, man. So much. Just can't move. Tempted to sell the mesh, but I'm not going to. Only regret was wasting the ghost there. Should have held it. Like, what is that dash range? Holy crap, she went from there to there. Boom, that's left side, left side up. Almost have Nash. That Diana mechanic though, <laughs> what in the world? I'm gonna die here. I'll save worth though. We get the kill, we almost killed the Vex, we get four mesh off of it. And I get a shutdown, all right, not bad. We definitely need Crown of the Shattered Queen. So yeah, if we could do this over again, we wouldn't have gotten mesh until after Nash, because we needed more consistent damage output. Then we would have left it on Dark Seal and gone for Crown, because there's no way to keep our mesh alive. It's impossible versus Camille Vi. They don't have to run you down. They just, they press an ability and they're there. It's like a tele, insta teleport. With a lot of dashes, you can outplay it. Whether it's like a Sedge dash or a Triss dash. But with theirs, it's point and click. No, no matter where you flash or move to with Ghost on, it lands. Against them, having an exhaust flash would probably be better. Bane must be here. Yeah, she is. <clears throat> Jinx died so fast in that fight, man. Looks like Camille's going in deep, but we're going to lose this game because we're not grouping and they are. Yeah, I think this game <laughs> might actually be over, dude. Jinx is the most fed one on our team and she died first, even with Braum hovering her. I can't stay. She still closes the distance. Are you kidding me, dude?
Oh, baby, we're back in it. A team fight, I can't believe it. The first team fight I've ever seen in my life. The first time I think I've had Braum and Diana and Oriana close by in a fight ever. This game's definitely winnable. 100% now. We got back at 10, 10 mesh. Very, very winnable. Camille's bot side. All right, we win this game. They lost. We'll take it. That's exactly what we needed. There's one little pick. The mesh is stacked. And now our team might group because we won that fight. There's a good chance they might actually group. It's a Christmas miracle. Hallelujah. All right, so all we need to do is literally stand behind our teammates, wait for the enemies to go in. Once Camille and Vi are completely completed, we can land the Brahm stun and mulch them down. 100%. We're missing people here though. Oriana's back on the split because you know what they say, immobile Oriana, very good at solo fighting and escaping. We need players to group. Like, this is a bad fight. AP Twitch slow is insane. It gets so high per stacking AP. Diana's still in base, my goodness. They're going to shove this wave past us and collapse. Okay, I'm surprised they didn't there. We're going to go ward down over here. And now it's a bit of a waiting game because we do have dragon advantage. And we do win team fights as long as I can stay alive in the back. So right now, so we have someone in front of us. We'll leave it jinx. Realistically, Braum should be up here or Diana should be. That's fine. We'll wait. It may be tempting to go for Vayne. She's going to go invisible and then I get picked by her team. I'm not giga fed. In fact, many players in the game have more items than I do because I have 90 CS. So playing for solo kills is kind of poop. I don't know. This Brom keeps playing so far back. She's uh, one of the farther back players on the team. There's the Camille. Don't want her to see me. Oh, Oriana got one of them. Why is Vi here? What is this? I'm going to ghost for this. That Lulu R is just so strong. Braum shield big. Get my W down. More ghost extensions. More Q resets as well. That was a great fight, man. Like our, our team fight is so much stronger with Braum shield. Even though Vayne has max health true damage, the first auto attack, Braum takes zero damage. And then the next few, his shield makes them take less damage. So Braum, he can tank kind of crazy. While me and Jinx just shred. Very nice. I have my flash as well. That might just be game, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna have to rush out and try to stop us. Yeah, Camille's gonna die for that. Nearly. Oh my goodness. Maybe we can't end. <laughs> I thought we could. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, baby. It is a Christmas miracle. Whoa! And that's going to do it, guys, for Twitch top lane. It's a lot of fun. As long as your team is willing to team fight in the mid late game, it's a good time. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.